Execs at Warner Brothers reportedly drop an anvil on Coyote versus Acme by deleting it forever, Rick. <laughs> Have you heard about this? Did you hear about this story? We, I think we covered it briefly in, in a couple of some of the other apps. We did hear we, something about it, but yeah, I didn't even know. We it was did, mate. And you know what the deal is? They haven't been able to sell the film. So what happened at one point? They decided, hey, we're not gonna, we're not gonna release it. But then they, there was that story where they were gonna go mm. out and try to sell it. So um, yeah, they haven't been able to sell it. So they're gonna delete it apparently, like out well, of like, their archives, gone. Well, that's stupid. Why they can't sell it? What they want too much for it, or they are? I or have no, no one idea. Yeah, uh, oh, here we go. Wanted, yeah, okay. but uh, let me just read this bit out, Rick, because I thought this was really funny. Actually, it's um, the plot line of the film. It says it's um, oh, here we go. A Coyote versus Acme is about a giant corporation choosing stock over empathy, <laughs> doing nothing illegal but morally shady stuff for profit. It's a David versus Goliath story. It's a, about the cynical and casual cruelness of capitalism and corporate greed. No wonder Warner doesn't want to release Coyote versus Acme. That's, <laughs> <Doesn't> even... <laughs> and that was a report from Carson Kurnipek, who helped edit the movie. Wow, that's a really bad uh, synopsis of that movie. No wonder no one wants it. That's terrible. <laughs> So wow. I reckon, yeah, I reckon there's a few factors into this. But this is, look, you hear about films getting buried. Like, it's, mm. it's, it's over history it's happened. You know, it's that Jerry Lewis movie. Um, what was it the day the, the, the clown cried or whatever, the one where he's in a Jewish concentration camp that was made and never released. We had recently Warner Brothers do it with um, Batgirl. Oh, sorry, Batgirl, it was Batgirl. Yeah. yeah, Batgirl. Yeah, they made it so, and then they just did Yep. Yeah, I mean, this guy's not afraid of just deleting movies forever. But it seems pretty nuts, doesn't it? A whole film no one will ever get to see. And no one's touching it. Like, no one wants to touch it. Not even Netflix, Amazon. Yeah. They proposed the 3 to release. But yet, the Watermother's denied mm. yet what they're offering. $70 they million dollars down the drain. Far out. Come on. You, wouldn't you just take something for something like just try and recoup some of that money back or they just think mm. it's going to be a complete flop if we release it like yeah. that's yeah uh poor cena he doesn't get a paycheck Ugh. it is a train wreck because it's like it's really interesting how do you not just drop it on their streaming service hbo max or what they're just called max now well yeah, just release not. it and i mean we're going to get something out of it surely you get yeah uh, yeah but I thought it was pretty funny, Rick, that uh, <laughs> if you're looking forward to the Coyote versus Acme um, movie, nope, you ain't yeah. seeing it, mate. Yeah, nah. Gornski. Nah.